A new state requirement in Oklahoma means when students return to school in the fall, they'll have a Bible in their classroom. At least that's what State Superintendent Ryan Walters promised Thursday in a memo to Oklahoma State Schools, saying effective immediately, all districts must comply. Every teacher, every classroom in the state will have a Bible in the classroom and will be teaching from the Bible. The state attorney general's office questions the interpretation of the directive, saying there is no legal authority for a memo from the superintendent to require content, but that is not what the memo appears to do. But Walters doubles down. They might need to look at it again, but it's pretty clear it is required of all districts starting this year. Reaction has been swift. I wanted to be able to come here and thank Superintendent Walters. While support for the move has been loud, so too has the backlash. Americans United for separation of church and state telling NBC News they're exploring options, saying in a statement, public schools are not Sunday schools. This is textbook Christian nationalism. Walters is abusing power of his public office to impose his religious beliefs on everyone else's children. Is there any intention to basically create more Christians within the state of Oklahoma? No, you know, that's not the goal here of the legislate uh, of the of the act here. The goal is to have an accurate view of American history. Walters also pushed back when asked if non-Christian students entering a classroom with Bibles will feel excluded. We want all students to feel welcome in our schools. We want all kids to be successful in our schools. That being said, you don't change history because of your feelings. That focus on history could also have an impact on the court, according to NBC legal analyst Angela Sinadella. I think that the historical intention behind it is definitely their strongest argument. I do think that it is a weak one, given the other parts of the test that the Supreme Court has administered in order to determine if there is a violation of the Establishment Clause. The Establishment Clause, a part of the First Amendment that prevents the government from respecting an establishment of religion, also a topic of debate in Louisiana where last week Governor Jeff Landry signed a law requiring the Ten Commandments be displayed in all public school classrooms by 2025. Civil rights groups already suing to try to block it on behalf of multi-faith families, setting up legal showdowns over church and state that could end up in front of the Supreme Court. Frankly, there's always been this tension between the two clauses of the First Amendment of free exercise of religion versus the Establishment Clause. And this court, because they see more a to moving in favor of free exercise and a little more against the establishment clause. That battle is just ripe for this court today. Now we asked the Oklahoma State Superintendent what the punishment would be for teachers who refuse to follow the Bible requirements in the fall. Tom, he said they could face losing their teaching license. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.